Do you think you have food allergy or food sensitivities? Do you feel uncomfortable after eating a particular food or you get rashes? Hi everyone, my name is Nidhi Nigam. I'm a clinical nutritionist and a health coach. In this video, I'm going to be talking about food allergies and food sensitivities. How they are different from each other and how can it impact you and what can you do to be able to come out of these right so let's understand food allergies now food allergies are something where you consume a food that you're allergic to and there is an immune response that gets triggered in the body now this is a clearly food allergy uh, reaction which means let's say if you have peanuts and you're allergic to peanuts you could get rashes your body could swell up you could have swollen lips you could have diarrhea um, you could have a problem in breathing there are severe cases where it ends up with hospitalization as well so this is food uh, allergy and then there is food sensitivity which more often than not is undiagnosed however your body is still able to tolerate it uh, and you continue to eat so for example some people um, eat let's say banana or egg and they feel bloated they have gastric issues milk for that matter um, you know they could have diarrhea they could have constipation uh, feeling of that uneasiness and that's a symptom of food uh, you know sensitivity now how do we diagnose food allergy and food symptoms one, of course, there are now tests available which will give you the markers um, if you have food allergies. So there are different tests. There are tests for food allergies and there are tests for food sensitivity. Now, uh, the two main uh, food allergies that are very, very uh, common nowadays across the globe is one, the gluten uh, allergy and the lactose allergy. Now, again, like I said, so there are two aspects of it. There is allergy, which is intolerance, and then there is sensitivity. So one, of course, uh, you know, if you have gluten intolerance, then it's a celiac disease, which means if you eat anything which has gluten, gluten is a protein which is found in wheat, rye and barley. So if you eat anything which has gluten, um, you would have very, very strong immune response, response that will get triggered, which like I said, you could have breathing problems, you could have choking, you could have swelling of the body, you could have fatigue, diarrhea and so on and so forth. Um, and which is why it is important that if you have such symptoms, one, you stop eating. Second, you do a test to figure out if there is a celiac disease. Number two is non celiac um, gluten sensitivity now in this what happens is you continue to eat your breads your rotis um, and you know your pastas and pizzas and all sort of uh, wheat items which has gluten but as soon as you eat them you feel very bloated you could have constipation diarrhea uneasiness there could be a you know sort of fatigue that sets in because you know you continue to use it now if there is a sensitivity one there's of course a test available to rule out if there's a sensitivity two we work on various diet pattern which we call as elimination diet to see the symptom which i'm going to be talking about after i speak about the second uh, allergy that i'm going to be talking about the second allergy that i want to talk about is lactose again very very common these days uh, there is lactose intolerance and there is lactose sensitivity. Now, the moment there is lactose intolerance and mind you, it need not be from birth. The intolerance or the sensitivity could develop at any point of time in life. Um, the moment you have milk and milk products. Now, some people cannot tolerate milk, but may be able to tolerate, let's say, curd, may be able to tolerate a little bit of paneer, but may not be able to tolerate cheese. And some people are totally totally dairy intolerant no product of dairy would uh, would sort of do well with their body so that's one kind of uh, intolerance that they have now in this what happens is the enzyme called lactase which is supposed to uh, help in digestion of lactose uh, is either not there or uh, inactive and that is when we have this issue again there are tests available and then there is lactose sensitivity where you do consume uh, milk and milk products 
with the same symptoms like you feel bloated, you feel fatigued, you could have diarrhea or constipation, but not to the extreme limit. So this is what happens. Now, what is it that you should be doing? When my clients come to me with such symptoms, we exercise something called elimination diet. Now, this is something that we cannot be given to um, everyone in general because we do not know how the food is going to respond to everyone. But what I always advise is that look out if you have certain things uh, you know that can uh, that are causing these kind of issues so mainly it could be peanuts it could be almonds brinjal papaya bananas mushrooms uh, wheat products and dairy products these are the major uh, food items that could give you food allergy and food uh, sensitivities if you're facing such issues it's good to eliminate them for about three weeks and then one by one reintroduce and see how your body is responding. That's one way to see it. Or you could work with a qualified uh, nutritionist to see how it can be worked on. And the last thing, of course, if you may want to, uh, you know, um, exercise is to um, get the test done and see how your body responds. However, let me also tell you there was a paper, there was a research that was submitted um, in UK that sometimes these tests may not give you a very accurate picture. In fact, one of my own client had almonds in the highest category of allergy, whereas this lady could ingest and digest almonds absolutely smoothly. So um, in my experience, uh, working personally, individually, case to case, seeing what is working good, how is it uh, helping if you eliminate works well. So try the elimination and keep an eye on those food items because it can sometimes be fatal as well. Hope this video helps. Anybody that you know is suffering from food allergy or sensitivity, please share the video with them. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will get back to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.